Well, hello there, friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee, and I'd like to share the postcards that I received from postcrossing.com. Not only do I share the official postcards, but I also like to share the round robins and the direct swaps that I receive. So this week has been a pretty good week. Um, I have one official postcard, and then I have several direct swaps and also round robins. So let's get started. So this is the first card that I received. It comes from the Czech Republic. And it is a beautiful castle. And this comes from Jiri in the Czech Republic. Isn't that gorgeous? I would love to go there someday. <laughs> and Jiri was on here, says that he was sorry that he sent this Czech card from a different country but the postage is so expensive in the Czech Republic. I'm fine with that. Please, you know, save yourself some money if you possibly can. Absolutely. I love it. And I will show you the postage on the back. So thank you so much. She sent it from Austria. That was the only official postcard that I received. The uh, next three postcards are postcards that I received from uh, Round Robins. So the first one, is Seaside, Oregon, and said that uh, I love beaches, and so they wanted to send me a beach card, and I do love that. Oh, how I wish I was there right now. <laughs> so thank you. That one came from Gary. The next card came from Judy, and this one made me smile, and so this is all about Louisville and how you pronounce it. And there are so many different pronunciations and I never know if I'm saying it right or if I'm saying it wrong. I say it Louisville, but it could be other things as well. When I lived in Tennessee, there was a town not too far from me that looked like Maryville, but you pronounced it Merville. <laughs> so I never know if I'm pronouncing right, but I'm trying Louisville. Thank you so much for that card, Judy. And then the next card I thought was really nice. It was a Just Because card. And this one came from LL Academy. And she sent me a card of Newman's Castle that she had made. She said she made this through Vista Print. And I think it came out really good. It's got pretty good quality to it. So it's not too thin, you know, and not too thick. So I quite like that. And look at that castle. Isn't that gorgeous? These were all photos that she had taken. So thank you for that card. If you hear noises, that is Haven, who is having the zoomies in the living room right now. I just got home from work. I just got my first cup of tea coming home from work. I just made it. It's still a little warm. Um, but yeah, so she has the zoomies at the moment. Then the last cards I received are from Direct Swaps. The first one comes from Rob, and look, I got one of his World Postcard Day cards. If you have not watched his video from World Postcard Day, which was on October 1st, you absolutely have to go and watch it. It is hilarious. So anyway, but this is Polo the Hedgehog, and I absolutely love that. And the other thing is that Rob is a part of the unicorn gang. So, of course, we got uniforms, unicorns, and then he put dogs are greater than people. I agree. <laughs> so thank you so much, Rob, for that. I absolutely love your World Postcard Day card. The next card came from Corgi Mama. She reached out to me here through the channel and asked to do a direct swap. And I said, absolutely. And so she sent me a wonderful recipe card of coffee cake. I cannot wait to try this. I have been craving cake lately. I was going to bake one this weekend and then I just never got around to it. So many other things I got to working on and just never got to it. And so I'm going to try this recipe. So thank you so much for that. And she decorated it beautifully. Look at the wonderful teacups. And of course she reached out to my loves here, um, snorkeling and she's got her own corgis there, corgi stickers for Corgi Mama. So Maria, thank you so much for this card. I absolutely love it. I love recipe cards. The next card came from Smokey and 
It's a World Postcard Day card. So Smokey also made his own card. This is his hand as he's sitting down to write a postcard. And that, of course, is his mascot, Snail Mail with Smokey. That is Satchel. That's his name. And so World Postcard Day, like I said, was the 1st of October. And so on the back here, you can see his um, his icon there, his, um, oh, what is that called? His avatar his avatar. Uh, so it is the cute satchel right there. So thank you so much for this card. I love World Postcard Days. I don't have any of my own cards left. I sent out every all 50 of them, so they are all gone on their way. The last thing that I received was from May, and May sent me, I've covered up my address, but she sent me an envelope, and look at all the wonderful Halloween stickers down here, and the skulls over here, and everything. Oh, I love the envelope, May. But inside, she sent me a beautiful little packet. May always packages her stuff so beautifully. She takes such care with everything that she does. And she's always so generous, but I say it all the time that I think that post crossers are some of the most generous people I have ever met in my life. Not only do they like to share their hobby with each other, but they also like to share their supplies with each other and their lives with each other. And it's just such a wonderful community. So anyway, and I want to thank you all for being a part of my community. It means a lot to me that you are out here. By the way, that's Haven now who is letting me know that she would like even more food than the dinner that she just finished. <laughs> she got dinner before I got tea. <laughs> anyway, back to May's postcard. Sorry about that. My mind wanders. So this is the absolutely adorable witch postcard that she sent me. And May says on the back that she loves Halloween, but sadly it's not celebrated in Brazil. And I feel so bad about that. But she decorates everything. And look at her, her beautiful signature over here, right? And the way that she writes hello up there. May, you are just so talented. I love everything that you send. But she wasn't done there. The other thing that May did was she sent me some lovely Halloween washi tape. And I want you to know I really appreciate this because I don't have any Halloween washi tape at all. I don't know if I've just never bought it, if I used it all, I'm not really sure, but I have none. So thank you so much for this. May also sent me a couple of pictures from her most recent trip. I love these little pictures. So she said, this is a World Heritage site that she went to. And then she said, this was one of the most beautiful beaches that she had ever been to. I agree, May. That is a gorgeous beach. And then the last thing that May sent me was stickers. And so let me share the stickers with you. So we've got some gals there plotting, I'm sure. We've got a wonderful skull here with a third eye up there. Mm -hmm. um, May also sent, I love this, it's a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> she also sent, let me see which direction is this, uh, this here, isn't this, um, this is, uh, it's the Disney movie, I can't think of it right now, I know you're all yelling it at me, um, The Nightmare Before Christmas, is that right? <laughs> um, she sent me a wonderful crow or raven. And then she also sent this adorable ghost. <laughs> so thank you for all of your um, stickers and the wonderful card and the wonderful words, May. So in case you don't know, May, Smokey, and Rob all have their own channels and they're linked down below in the uh, more section. So please do go check them out and share some love with them. They are absolutely wonderful people and they love sharing post crossing as much as I do. So with that, I am going to sign off for tonight. That was all my cards for last week. I want you to stay safe and healthy out there and have a really happy post crossing week. And again, thank you so much for being a part of my little community 
on the internet. I appreciate you all so much. Bye for now.